Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in today. You're out in glorious fishing. Today we're gonna head out on my boat and we're gonna go and target a few black bream, gurnard, hooches bream and stuff like that. And we're gonna go and collect some pot bait. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna head off and go and do my crab pots as well. Cause I wanna bait them up. We've got a bit of rough easterly winds coming. So I wanna get them all baited up, uh, ready. It's Cause I ain't gonna know when I'm gonna be able to get back out on them. So we're gonna do that and hopefully catch a few lobsters and a few brown crabs as well guys so we've got about two and a half hours that we're going to be able to go out there so i don't really want to muck around i've already wasted a bit of time so we're going to drop the engine get the engine down and uh start making our way out there if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button as you come in guys make sure you hit the bell as well that way you'll never miss any of my fishing lives or anything like that and let's get to it let's go and catch these fish so before we start there's the engine nicely warming up there that's my new evan rude 90 it goes like an absolute dream it does i'm really impressed with it really happy with it guys absolutely amazed with it so yeah got that for an absolute steal that engine and here's a glimpse of the bait that we're going to be using today all it is is just chopped up squid these are the squid that they were and all i've done is chopped them up chopped all the tentacles up and what we're going to be putting those on is this rod here guys we've got some mackerel feathers right here that we use for mackerel in. And we're just going to put some squid on that and that should be enough to catch the bream so like i say we're not going to waste no more time let's get out there and let's go and get these fish So everyone, there's the bait, the baited feathers. Jeez whiz, there's a massive shoal of fish down there, guys. If I quickly show you this, check this out. That is all fish right there. So I'm gonna get down to the bottom and get into these fish. Sorry about the shouting, I'm just excited. Check that out, that's a big, big shoal of fish. Get down there and hopefully we get absolutely nailed. Big shoal of fish, that. No bites yet, very strange. Go back up there and see if we can. I don't know why we didn't hit anything. You've seen the shoal of fish yourself, guys. That was huge. Let's get back there and see if what happened. Well, we've arrived up for another drift. That is definitely fish below us because there's more markings again as soon as I've come over here. So I'm just hoping we'll be able to hook into something. Come on, the bream. That's what we want. Scad, I would prefer, to be honest. Scad is a lot better in the pots, I think. They smell a lot more, but there we go, that's, that's bites. Oh yeah, fish on. Yeah. Good fish. Definitely fish down there, look at the head bangs on that. Oh, that's a beauty. Get him in. Look at that. Oh, and he's just dropped the bait. First black bream. I'm all caught in my life jacket. Look at the size of that one. Those are the ones you want. That is an absolute buster. That took the squid head, a whole squid head. So, gonna get it back down. Hopefully we get a few more of these busters. That is an absolute beast. You beauty. Okay, we've arrived up again. There is a couple of markings. Let's hope we hook into those big black bream again. I've just noticed a lot of seagulls working off over there, about half a mile away, maybe a mile. We haven't got good fishing here. We might head down there, but it should be okay here. Should get a few bream.
I had a bite there, I missed it. Go back down to the bottom. Good job. I think I got him up. No, I missed him. I'm just stripping my bait, guys. Go back down and see if we can get him. Might have a small one on. Lost our bait though, we'll rebake and head back up there. So I'm back up for another guys. That wind's starting to pick up now. There was a couple of markings down there, so I'm hoping I'm gonna hit into something straight away. Yeah, for shot. Sure. Oh yeah. come off. I don't think it has. That's it. It has. It's come off. Came off. Oh, there's a big shoal of fish below us. Big, big, big shoal. So we'll hook straight back into him. Fish on. I've got it. Yes. Oh, this one's going well. Really well. Another lovely size bream. Beautiful. Straighten the hatch. Get down, see if we can get another. Missed him. Oh, fish on. I got him. I got him. Great fun, absolutely love it. Love a free. Keep getting caught in my life jacket. Another nice size bree. So everyone, it appears that I've dropped into a ball of fish by the looks of it. So I'm hoping this rod's gonna go absolutely mental. We're right above them. Yep, fish on. There's definitely fish biting on my... Missed it. Yep, fish on. I've got it. Yeah, feels like a good fish. Well, not so much now. It feels okay. Not going to be too small. Yeah, it's not bad. A bit small actually. We're going to let that one go. Lovely little black bream, but he's going to have to go. Yeah, fish on. You beauty. Come on, you Bremo Wemos. Hoochie house of Bream, baby. That's what we want. Nice one. Nice Bream as well. Nice stamp of Bream today. Absolutely lovely Bream, that. Beautiful, beautiful black Bream. Right, let's go up again. Fish on, guys. Fish on. It's a nice Bream, that one. I just lost the bigger one. What a lovely beauty that is. Now we're down to two hooks because I lost the other feather. I've got no feathers on board. So I'm only down to two hooks, but that's another lovely bream. Let's get back down there and let's get some more. So we're up for another drift. Let's get them. There's plenty of markings on the sounder again, so I'm hoping we're going to get hit pretty much straight away. Yep, yeah, for sure. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh, 
Yeah, we waited and we waited. Come on. Yeah, that's a beauty. Get him in before he flips off. Oh, an absolute cracker, that one. That there is an absolute cracker. That's a beauty. Sorry about my eyes. The wind's getting in and making them stream, but yeah, fantastic. Let's get back up and let's get some more of these pot baits. We need them. The Brimo Wemos, class pot bait. So we're back up for another drift. I've just hit the bottom. There's a few markings down there, so I'm hoping we're gonna get pretty much hit again straight away. Missed it. Yeah, fish on. Oh yeah. This one feels all right, guys. That's for sure. Oh, nice, nice bite. Oh, big, big, big headbangs. It's a good fish. It feels good. Jeez. The head bags. Oh, that's a big one. That's a foster. That's the biggest of the day. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Look at the size of that one. That's an absolute stonker, that is. That's a stonker of a breed. Let's get back down there and see if we can get another one. Woo! That's a beauty. Oh, I had another bite then straight away. Yep, I got it. Fish it hard. Oh, that's another buster. That feels alright as well. Oh, yeah. That does feel like a buster as well. Oh, it's because we got two. Double hook up. Beauty. Look at that. Beautiful double hook up on the Blackberry. But they're starting to come on the feet now and that might be due to the tides um, reducing a bit you know it's starting to slacken off the tide so we'll go up for another drift see if we can get some more like that let's get them so the sun's decided to make an appearance beautiful the only problem is i haven't brought my shade so there'll be a lot of squinting going on as if i'm chinese i thought i could see a boat there near my pots but i think he's in the bag so I've just hit the bottom. There's a few markers there, so we should get hit pretty much straight away. Yeah, I got him. Fish on. Yeah, that's a nice one as well. Oh, he just came off on the surface. He literally dropped off right there. I don't know if you picked that up on the camera. He dropped off on the surface. You, hmm. Yeah, I won't say what I was gonna say. It's a troll friendly channel. But yeah, hopefully we get another one. That was a nice one, that one. So everyone, I lost the feathers, but this kind gentleman who's in the same marina as me, I seen that he was fishing. I asked him if he had any spares and he has got some, but they're free eyes, so. They're a bit big for the bream, but we'll still get them on that. So I'm going to get these on. We'll get back down there and start fishing again. So we have the new feathers on. They're all loaded with squid. I'm just getting down there now, and it looks like we're about to hit straight into some marking. So hopefully there's going to be some bream jumping straight on. Well, let's fish on. Nice head bangs from it. Nice fish. That's another lovely, beautiful black bream, that is. It's a stonker. I say we're going down with five hooks, so we're not messing around. We're only gonna be fishing for another 10, 15 minutes. And like I say, I wanna go and do my lobster pots anyway. So then we'll be going to get those out of the way. But what a lovely day. 
Let's get some more. Well guys, I'm up for another drift. And I'm not joking, I just had a squid about a metre long on my feathers. It had gone after the bream, got hooked on the feathers, I went to pull it out and it shot off. I'm absolutely gutted. That was a huge squid. That was massive, literally, it was massive. We've just got down, there's plenty of markings. And I'm in already. Nope, I lost him. Go back down. Oh no, we have got something on. Oh, there's a lot of fish on or a squid on this. There's a lot of weight. Is that another squid? What is this? That's just a big black bream. And it's a big one. That's an absolute beauty. We'll get straight back down. That is an absolute beauty, that though. Absolute stonker. I can't believe I lost that squid. That was huge. Well, that's it. It's just a very short drift now. The fishing has eased right off, so what I'm going to do is we're going to pull the rod up right now and we're going to start heading towards our lobster pots, pull them, and hopefully you've got a few brown crab and a few lobsters, guys. So next stop, we'll be at the lobster grounds. pulled these first two strings that we're going to do yesterday they had a 24 hour soak and if you would have seen my last video we had a lobster and a brown crab on them hopefully it's done the business again in 24 hours so we should be seeing the first part any second guys and like i say hopefully they're full of lobsters and brown crabs bring them on big bullos guys in the pots he's a big one as well Surprised we had that in there on a bream, but we did. Next pot's here. Not a lot in there. Just a small spider crab, but I'll give you a show of this bullos, guys. There it is. Big, 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 beautiful bullos there. Straight in the pots, probably about, he's not that big, he's about six pound, I reckon. Six, seven pound, but lovely, lovely bullos. That's going to be going back. Beautiful teeth. Check the teeth on it. Big, big, big predator. Get a lot of these in the crab pots and the lobster pots. Beautiful fish. So I'm going to release, release that one, guys. Let him go back. Back he goes. I'm going to get all these small crabs out, bait it up, and we'll get on to the next set. Let's get on to that second one. So this second set right here is the ink whales. We actually did rather all right on them yesterday, but whether we do all right today, don't know. Like I say, it's only been down for 24 hours, so I'm not expecting a lot. The other three just over there, they've been down for 72, maybe a bit more, so those should do a little bit better. You brown crab in there? Don't look like there's any big brown crab, but it is got a fair few in there just for 24 hours we want the big busters there might be one keeper in there i reckon maybe two might be two we'll have to give them a gauge very good at all second part got one small spider crab guys so not a lot in there one more small spider crab or a camo crab me and smash fishing like to call them because of the seaweed but yeah, nothing in that one. Second pot. It's not a bad brown crab. Check that one for gauge. Back in he goes. Yeah, that's one keeper brown crab. 
So we have one. That one's too small. That crab's in. Another keeper crab. That's two. And the rest are just really small males. Two, three, four, five. Not very good, so I'm gonna bake these up with some fresh stuff, get them out, and we'll get on to the next three. Get on to that next one. Just pure empty. I'm a bit suspicious of this. <laughs> uh, could have been a Congo, who knows? But uh, yeah, I haven't got anything to show you in this string, guys. So I'm going to bait these up and get onto the next set. Sorry about that. Get onto that next set. So this is the fourth set guys, we've got another five to do, so hopefully there's some crabs and lobsters. One small lobster, I don't think that's going to be in size. The sun is certainly shining now, it's beautiful out here. Not a lot in that first pot, one small lobster, let's hope this second one's got a bit better. The reason why these pots aren't fishing well is because they haven't got bands around the neck. Uh, well, that one has, this one hasn't. Oh yeah, it has. Oh no, these ain't the ones. Oh well, forget that. They're just not fishing well. So I'm going to get these couple of spider crabs out and I'll get that lobster out. And uh, give you a show of the lobster. So we've got one, two, three small spider crabs, males and females. Velvet swimming crab. So that's it for the first pot. Sorry about the helicopter above, that's that noise you can hear. Second pot, lobster. Now I'm pretty much certain that is not going to be it. Nowhere near, I don't think. No, it's about 8 mil out, 10 mil out, so. That lobster's gonna go back, that lives to fight another day. And we're gonna bait these up and play them out again. Right, let's go get that last one for up here. So it's the last string for up here. We haven't done very well at all. I think we got one brown crab so yeah we haven't done that great hopefully this last part pulls out something sensational but if not we've got the other four strings that are slightly inland which we may have something on there and i never know so uh, yeah let's get this one up and see what we got been done all the baits gone nothing in them let's hope this second pot's not like that these three strings that were next to each other we're all empty, which makes me a bit suspicious, you know? It's almost as if someone's been there. We have a nice lobster in this one, guys. That's a keeper. That's a beauty. Right. I'll give you a show of him. There's not a lot in the pot, so that's why I'm not taking you down to the pot. It's a lovely male lobster, that. That is an absolute bruiser of a lobster. Check that, check the claws on him. Big, beautiful claws, lovely looking lobster. And as I say, you can tell it's a male lobster by the first two little legs there below its normal legs, those first little two appendages. Because they're hard, as you can see just above my finger, because they're hard, that's a male. If they were soft like the lower swimmerettes, 
hoped it would be a female but yeah fantastic lobster check that out that's one keeper we're happy with that at least we've got one one is better than none and like i say guys in the second pot i've got nothing so i've got nothing to show you let's bait these up get them back out All right, let's go and get onto those other four strings. So guys, we're a little close to the rocks here, 16 feet below us. Let's make sure that there's no pinnacle heads sticking out. But if you're not close to the reef, you're not gonna catch lobsters. Inkwell. One small brown edible crab. Not very good. There it goes. Got rid of it already, guys. It was absolutely tiny. Tiny, tiny brown edible crab. We're so close to the rocks. I'm actually getting a bit worried. I've got a big pinnacle right in front of me. That's the depth alarm going crazy because we're below 10 feet. Should be alright. I'm sorry about the alarm, guys. Absolutely zilch. Right. Let's get out the danger area. Right, next set's in front of us. Let's get it. So, first pot's here, guys. Not a very good pot that though, it's a bit broken so. Not very good in tool in there. No crabs whatsoever. So again, I can't show you anything. I'm gonna bait them up and get to the next set. Let's get those last two strings. Guys, this hook string was hooked down around a big rock. I think I've managed just to get it out. So, hopefully we'll be lucky. I think this is the actual pot that the amateur angler gave us. Small velvet crab, that's it. Not very good, that. Absolutely nothing. I don't know what's going on. So I can't show you nothing. I'm gonna empty these, the little crabs that are in there, bait them up, and we'll get onto the last set. And hopefully we have a lobster in that one because we've done absolutely rubbish. Okay, let's get that last set, guys. Come on, you lobsters. This has been a bad day on the lobster fishing and crab fishing. Well, like I say, at least we got one. Um, there's nothing worse than coming out and not at least getting one. At least we have one brown crab and we've had um, one brown crab, one lobster. Let's see what this last pot brings us. That's very poor again, guys. There's nothing in there. I don't know what's happened here. I reckon someone's playing uh, something with us, but uh, I'm gonna bait them up, get it back out, and start making our way in. I still thoroughly enjoyed today, though. We've had one lobster and one brown crab, so let's just keep high spirits and start making our way in. Okay, let's start making our way in, guys. Thanks for coming along. Let's head home.
Well everyone, thanks for coming along with me on another trip with Inglorious Fishing. We went out, we managed to get quite a few bits of pot bait and we baited up the pots as well. We also have one keeper lobster there and we've also got one nice brown crab. Didn't really do very well on the lobster pots, I don't know what's happening there. I think something untoward has happened but who knows, it might just have landed on the reef, some fish might have gone in there and got the bait, you never know. But uh, hopefully we do better next time and we can get out there in a few days. And hopefully we get a few more Lobo Wobbos. But till then, we'll catch you next time, guys. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And make sure you share it on all your social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's the only way this channel gets out is by you guys. So uh, thanks very much for that. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.